Hey guys, welcome to a new video. Today we're playing Thrasios Rograk. This is a uh, Cloudstone Curio deck. Uh, the idea is uh, getting Magda to get out Cloudstone Curio, and then abusing the fact that we have a zero CMC creature to start the Dockside Loop. And then once we have infinite mana, we can just put her into uh, Thrasios. This is our opening hand. We have a bunch of mana. We have Ragavan. We have a Chrome Mox. We have a Toski. We can do. We can Neo form the Toski away into an ordinary archaic. We have, we have a couple things. Hey guys, today I will be playing Scion of the Ur Dragon, the new Commander Legend set. Does uh, both some new dragons that are really sweet. Being able to draw like up to 20 cards, I get 20 treasures, and bring back all my dragons with Scion's ability is going to be awesome. Okay, so this is our starting seven. I think I'm going to keep it. It gets us our uh, commander out on turn three. Uh, we have Demonic Tutor if we need it, but uh, being able to attack with our dragon on turn four is kind of what I'm looking for, and this hand lets me do it, so I'm going to keep it. Hi everybody, Mons here playing Alesha who smiles at death. It's basically a Rasakef Mardu deck. The goal is to reanimate Rasakef with some Alesha tricks or some reanimation spells and then assemble the Leonic Relic Warden may with Mayhem Devil and basically kill all of opponents. It's not one of the strongest decks in the world, but I actually really like it. And I just want to playtest it a little bit to get more of an understanding of like what it needs to work better. And it's been a while since I actually played it. So we can get somewhere with the Recruit of the Guard here and we're going to have that in play turn 2 and then Alesha maybe turn 3 or so. Hi, today I'm playing Gale, Waterdeep Prodigy, together with the background Scion of Halister. The main game plan of the deck is Demonic Tutor being a one card win con, because you can cast Demonic Tutor, finding Consult, then casting Consult, using Gale to recast Demonic Tutor to find Thassas before the Consult resolves, and then just play Thassas to win. Gale also provides some card draw in that we can recast Cantrips by casting Instance. A starting hand is interesting, but I don't really think it's good enough for his first 7. I would keep this on like 6, maybe second 7, but I think it's a bit to do nothing. We're highly dependent on the brainstorm to get us somewhere, and even like entombing something for Gale doesn't make the hand that much better, so I'll go to second 7. No lander makes this very easy. This hand has a similar problem to the first seven, but since this is a six, I think it's more okay. We can, we're, this is a really controlly hand. The Diabolic Intent we probably bottom here because we have no way of uh, actually getting to it. But yeah, this hand might be really slow if we have to draw into some mana, but it is it, but we might not just get there with this hand suddenly. But let's see how it works out. And with that, let's start the game. Right, I have a pre-game to put a Gemstone Caverns into play. Exiling a Wood of Foothills. All right, I will draw for. I will play a uh, Mark. No, I'm not. I'm gonna play a Mana Confluence. Play Rograk. I'm gonna play Mox Amber. I'm gonna tap Mox Amber. Play R Castle Ragavan, and then I'm gonna take a damage and then play an Elvish Mystic. Yeah, and if that's good, I will pass my turn. All right, go to my turn. I will play this Volcanic Island. I will tap Gemstones and play a Fendhorn Elves and pass the turn. I'm gonna draw a card for turn. I'm gonna play a Plains. I'm gonna cast a Chrome Mox. I'm gonna imprint a Viachino Heretic, and I'm gonna pass the turn. Take my turn. That's a pretty good draw. Land for turn is a Exotic Orchard. I'd like to cast a Monaco. Then I'll cast a Mox Amber. Step three for a Gale. And with that, I'll pass the turn. All right. On my turn, I will. I'm gonna move to combat. I'm going to hit Mons with Ragavan. I take two damage. I make a treasure. I'm exiling a Prismatic Vista into your Ragavan. I will then tap for a red. I'll play a Soul Ring. Two, three, four. I'm gonna play a Toski, Barrier of Secrets. Then I'm going to, I guess I'll just play out this Marsh Flats. Why not? And I'm gonna pass my turn. Now, people might ask why I have a Marsh Flats in my deck that doesn't fetch anything. Well, that's because when I loaded in the package on Moxfield, I, it slipped my mind. Um, so yeah, I have a land that doesn't fetch anything in my deck. So that's why. Uh, this is just a pro tip. Check your land bases before you play. Okay, go to my turn. I will crack this marsh flats. A underground C. I will tap two and cast a bloom tender, which is insane in this deck. And then we are going to cast a demonic tutor. All right. So the reason we got command tower, which doesn't seem that great, is because. Um, the Beseju only taps for green, and I don't have a Wooburg to cast my commander next turn, and getting my commander out as fast as possible is really, really, really important. Uh, so that's why we have tutored for a land, but it will help us in the long run. 
All right, I will pass my turn. I'm gonna play a swamp. I feel so behind. Looking at Annie's board state, that's enormous. Jordan has just detutored and like costing t my recruit of the guard here, I guess. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. I'm casting Recruiter of the Guard. Trigger search library. I'm gonna find Visera Seer with my Recruiter of the Guard and uh, put it into my hand. The reason I'm finding this one is that I don't really have anything in my deck that is like doing something directly against my opponent. I was thinking of finding Yawgmoth Friend Physician because he's really good at yeah, like killing the board state currently. He's also a sack outlet, but I just didn't have the two black mana. I could have found him, which would have been great, but there's a chance that I draw into my black mana. So my plan is to use Viserys here Viser to recast Recruiter of the Guard over and over with my Alesha to basically value train a tiny bit. I'm, I'm kind of behind, I'm just hoping that the other guys are gonna like interact with each other here and make me gain time. Take my turn, land for turn, it's a prismatic vista. Tap for a blue to cast a ponder. Look at the top three, I'll put them back in that order. Draw a card. Tap two for a fellow stone. I would like to fetch, finding a basic island and taking a damage. And then I will tap two to cast my background, Scion of Halister. Last turn. Go to my turn. I guess we can just come back. We'll hit Jordan with Ragavan and we'll hit uh, Moldus with uh, Toski. I am going to block your Toski and my Recruit of the God dies. Trigger, trigger. Right, reveal a, ooh, a Mystical Tutor. Mystical Tutor. That's pretty good. Yeah, and then I'll draw a card off Toski. Take it out. I'd like to play a Wandering Arcade. I'm going to cast a Chromox. I'd like to improve. And I'll tap one and uh, treasure. I would like to cast me a form sacrificing a little bit. Oh, I don't like that. I have a response, which is really funny. I'll spell snare, not paying for a K. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> Uh, sure, yeah, no response to that. I will draw a card, I will play a Commentar, and I will play my commander. Scion of the Ur Dragon. R rar. Bloom Tender and Scion together in play. That's horrifying. I hope Pontus has an answer. So my turn and draw a card. So we drew the Black Clan, so we could have actually gotten our friend position in play, but we don't have any creatures anymore. But we're gonna, just gonna slam it. Swamp, tap Swamp, the Seer Seer, free mana. Alesha who smiles at death. And then I pass turn to Pontus. Take my turn. Draw for turn, draw two because of Sign of Halaster, or look at top two. I will put a Imperial Seal into my graveyard. Pay two life to cast a Git Probe. Uh, I'll target Mons, paying for a cake. These are the beautiful cards, the free ones that I have in my hand. Be terrified. A Git Probe resolves, I draw a card. Then I will pass the turn. Go to my turn. I'd like to move to combat. See Pontus, I'll hit you for four. I just hit Pontus as well with Toski. Uh, block Toski, take four. Sure. Um, trigger Toski, I'll draw a card. I'll play a uh, risk study. Uh, risk study, okay? I have a response to risk study. Sure. I'd like to, uh, for black, cast a fatal push targeting uh, Bloom Thunder. And with Gale, I'd like to pay two life to Git Pro. Figure our okay. You can get a copy as well. And the Git Pro will target Jordan. Thank you. I'll respond to Veil Push with a Veil of Summer. I'll pay for our Uh I will respond to Veil of Summer. Pay to life to cast a mental misstep using Gale to cast my Ponder. Uh, yeah, with my copy of misstep, I will target Ponder. I should have paid for a misstep instead. Yep, Ponder is countered. Uh, Veil is countered. Uh, Bloom Tender dies. Yeah, I will. Sure, we will take Viserys sir. My Viserys here falls off uh, a fatal clip. clip. And then I have a Git Probe, right? Uh, yeah. I will Git Probe you, Pontus. Uh, look away, everyone else. Yeah. This is the only card in my hand. Okay, cool. And then I will draw her. All that jazz. Uh, now I get to see <laughs> Jordan's hand. Hey, yeah. ever, uh, don't look. Um, I have this one. Yep. And I have this one. Uh, and I draw a card, and then Fatal Push kills Bloom Thunder. And then we can <laughs> resolve Rhystic Study. <laughs> And then with that whole mess done, I will resolve my risk study. Oh, that's the killer bloom thunder. <laughs> and then I will play this rejuvenating spring as one for turn. Um, no, I'll just I'll just pass from there. I'll go to my turn. Alrighty, I would like to pay two mana and activate uh, Scion's ability. I'm going to put Ancient Silver Dragon into my graveyard. Uh, Pontus, I would like to attack you for eight. No blocks. Pick eight. Roll a d20. Oh god, please. Oh god, please. Uh, funnily enough, I rolled an 11. 
I will I will draw 11 cards. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. That was uninspiring. Uh, I will play this Rejuvenating Springs. Uh, tap 2. I'm going to cast Dance of the Dead on my Ancient Silver Dragon. Or my Blue Eyes White Dragon. Um, yeah, I feel pretty good about that. I will pass the turn. I have no maximum hand size. That's a great card to draw, but the graveyard is a little bit too small. Eh, it's a dragon. Wait, I think I have a kind of response to this. I'm gonna play a planes. I'm gonna go to combat. Alesha is attacking at Jordan. An uh, attack sure. trigger. I wanna reanimate my recruiter of the guard. Also attacking at Jordan. Fair enough. I no, wait, they take... can actually attack at the... Uh, no, sorry. My recruiter of the guard is attacking at Pontus. Heh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, I take two. Three. Three. No blocks, take one. Well, Pontus, you can kill my recruiter of the guard if you want to. I am well aware that I can kill the recruiter of the guard. <laughs> <laughs> he's, just, he's just giving you options. With my Recruit of the Guard ETB trigger, I'm gonna find Leonin Relic Warden. And in my second main phase, I'm gonna cast it, and I'm paying for Rhystic Study, and I'm gonna exile Dance of the Dead, which means that the Blue Eyes White Dragon is going back to the graveyard. Uh, however, if this uh, catty meow thing dies, the thing will come back, I guess. So don't kill it, guys. It's catty uh, meow thing. <laughs> Uh, Dance of the Dead goes under the cat, and my dragon goes back to the graveyard. Take my turn. Uh, draw for turn. I will put a City of Brass in my graveyard. Land for turn is a Mana Confluence. Tap Rustic for two. You cast a Mana Vault. Uh, you, can, you can draw from Rustic. Loot two colorless mana. You cast a Greatest Grasp by hitting uh, I can... you can draw. Also, but I will pay for the... Uh, okay, okay. Greatest Grasp resolves. Uh, I'd like your Wheel of Fortune. I will cast the Wheel of Fortune I found from Anis Library. Uh, I'm going to besage you the Rhystic Study. Uh, yeah, in response to besage you, I will Otawara the Sign of the Earth Dragon. I am, I am not paying for Rhystic Study or... Um, or the Archaic. Do you want another wheel, Hannes? Wandering Archaic is going to give me a second copy of Wheel of Fortune, which I will elect to not cast. Sorry, copy, I guess. I will cast a Box Diamond, pitching Spire of Industry. Then I will pass the turn. Move to combat. I will hit Pontus for four, I will hit Jordan for two, and I will hit Mons for one. I will block your Toski with my cat. Yep, I'll take two, and you guys want some? No blocks, take four. Yeah, in response to the task triggers, I'm going to... In, in response to one of the triggers, I'm going to tap this for a blue and cast a mystical tutor. I'll put it for a small top. I will then play land for turn, and then I will sack said land to fetch. Let's go Volcanic Island. Tap Soul Ring and Volcanic Island to cast an Underworld Breach. I guess I force you to use your Ursa Will. I will... Oh, yeah, you have more cake. This doesn't matter at all. I want the bird. I'll cast Swan Song. I want the bird, okay? Sure. I'll copy and cast the Swan Song. Any other responses to that? Cool. I will then use one of my generic, and I will tap this Taiga, and I will play a Grinding Station. And you have Vesir Mana Rock, so yeah. We lose to this, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to Grinding Station my Mox Amber. I'm going to mill three cards, and then I'm going to return my Mox Amber, tap it, sack it again, mill three cards, and I'm just going to keep doing that. So yeah, I'm going to mill myself a couple of times. Uh, I'm going to build up Storm Count, and then I'm going to cast a Brain Freeze that's big enough to mill everyone's libraries, and then I will just cast a Wheel of Fortune, decking everybody. Yeah, so I'll keep, I'll keep an arbitrary amount of cards that lets me survive through my own wheel and then I will deck everyone else. GG. So we got to do what the deck wants to do, which is get uh, an attack in with the Silver Dragon, but uh, we were able to draw 11 cards, but they were not good cards. So that was sad. Yeah, Wandering and Cake is really strong against decks that want to cast a lot of instant and sorceries.